Hey, how's it going everybody? So today we have something a little bit different than the actual daily vlog. We have a would you rather that we're gonna do together. So there's like 10 or 11 questions. We don't wanna do a whole bunch. We're gonna try and get through them really quickly for you, but it's just something a little bit different and hopefully you enjoy it. So let's get to question number one. So question one is, would you rather be in constant pain or have a constant itch? Constant pain or a constant itch? Yeah, I don't like that question. <laughs> you know what, I'd rather be in constant pain. Well, it depends on how much pain it was. Like if it was a little bit of pain, I could probably handle it, but if it was like labor pains, <laughs> or an itch, I've seen that where they stick to shockers when the guy's chowed and make yeah. him feel the labor pains. It's just Sorry. not, so, and it depends on the itch. Uh, no, I'd say an itch. Yes, because you can put the itch out of your mind. Unless it's on the tip <laughs> of your nose, then you have to scratch it. Oh, itch, no. itch, what about you? For me, pain makes me barf, so I would say itch. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be itching than barfing. <laughs> I don't want to clean that crap up. <laughs> I think she should have the itch too. Yeah, labor was messy. Very messy. <laughs> very, very messy. We had home birth too, and it was all over the house. Four times. Well, yeah. it wasn't all over the house. No, it was I just in the bedroom. <laughs> and there were plastic sheets. Another story. And they're awesome. Another story. Yes. <laughs> All right, so question number two is would you rather be blind or not able to talk for the rest of your life? Hmm. That's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, because I would I want know. to talk. Like, my grandmother went through not talking. Oh, I know you like to talk. Yeah, I, I would have a hard time with that. I think I would choose blind. Because you could still hear your loved ones and see them and talk to them. Communicate and with them. Yeah, yeah I think me too. communicating is more important to me than seeing. You know what, I would rather be able to hear and not talk because I could get singing. It doesn't specify, right, that you wouldn't be able to sing. Usually a? when you can't talk, you can't hear yourself. Oh, come on, no. People have seen the shows, what is it? There's like that Dumb one singing. Dumb and, and mute usually go hand in hand. It doesn't say the reason why you can't talk. Okay, fine. You can be one of those people that just can't get a or word like, out, but you, can, or you can sing, you're like one of those magical people. Okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> Question three is, would you rather have no sense of smell or smell everything that's near you as if it was like right in front of your nose? Like a dog? Like everything. No, you know what? I know what dog... <laughs> We had a dog and whenever I farted, I'd be like, that dog can smell that from across the room. Oh, and yeah. if I can smell it and I'm like, <laughs> I know the dog was like, oh my God, you're four, you're what buying me like, better kibble next time. It was like 10, 10 times our smell or something like yes, that. Yes, no, I would rather have no sense of smell. Yes, everything would taste a lot more bland if you couldn't smell, because our yeah. smell and taste are connected, but really, I, no, I don't want to be in the, have you smelled a hippie? <laughs> I did a delivery today with a guy who had horrible breath. It was awful. And I just wanted to get away as fast as I possibly could because he kept talking like <laughs> He says all the H words. <laughs> oh, it was awful. How are you doing? I was like, hey, second, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the next question is would you rather be only able to whisper everything whisper? Or shout everything? Which one? Whisper or that shouting? That's hard. That's crappy. No one's gonna like you either way because they're no. either like you either you whisper things and they're people like, are like, "What?" Pardon? And eventually they or just like, give up and they just nod. I like the kids. If I had to like warn them from something, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. like. <laughs> well, she actually does a lot of shouting. Yeah. Rachel, come here! Or you like, forgot to clean your room. Stopping them from like running out on the road or something dangerous like oh, that. Oh, you have to whisper scary. it. Yeah, that would be. Although I guess. It would be good because you could like run and like use your action instead of your voice. So I would. Whisper. I suppose you could adapt to risk whispering. Yep. You can't adapt to yelling. No. In no a movie theater, voice. you'd be like, I love this movie. <laughs> I think that guy did it. <laughs> I think that whispering would be good whispering. because you could actually get used to it by writing things. Yeah. You could have a bullhorn. A whistle or something. You could yeah. whisper into a bullhorn. That's true. You right? You'd, walk, you'd be the guy in town with the bullhorn. And <laughs> people would be like, you'd pull it out and they'd be like, oh no, what's he going to do? Yeah. People that didn't know you. And then you'd be like, can you pass the salt? And it would come out like, <laughs> be awesome. Yeah. You'd yeah. be a local celebrity. This is true. The bullhorn guy. So question five is, would you rather be homeless 
Or live without family and friends. Well, I've been homeless. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I, I actually, it's weird. I, I, I actually dream about being homeless again because when you're homeless, you got nothing to lose. At least from my perspective, I had nothing to lose. It was just me and my guitar and a backpack. And I just kind of went wherever and sang for myself every day. So I actually don't mind being homeless. Sounds weird, I know. True, not having any family or friends. When I was homeless, having those family and friends to come back to and crash on the couch occasionally and like... Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah, those are the like things that. that ground you and yeah. make you feel like a human being. Yeah. When you have no family and no friends, you end up feeling distant from people in general. So I think homeless is what I go for. I think so Definitely too. Definitely homeless. Like, you could live in a mansion, have all the money in the world, but if you don't have family and friends, it's not worth anything. Yeah, so, it's, you might as yeah. well, I don't know. And it depends do. where I you're homeless. Know. Like, I would not want to be homeless in Alaska. But like... Are people homeless in Alaska? <laughs> Does Alaska have a homeless problem? I don't know. I don't it gets very so. cold there in the winter. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be homeless there, but I could deal with being homeless in like California or something. Homeless in Cali or Florida. Like on the beach. Oh, but you have a good, you have a better chance of getting <laughs> shanked. Yeah. Homeless in like, in like, you know, where we live is, is a lot safer. This is true. For sure. Although it gets cold. We have shelters for them in the winter. The cold hurts our face in the middle of winter. <laughs> but we don't get spiders the size of our hands. No giant spiders. <laughs> the next question, question number six, is would you rather have one wish granted today or three wishes granted five years from now? This is like That's the one, one marshmallow today, like two tomorrow. Or I know. Something that, like, kid I'm such a one marshmallow <laughs> today kind of guy. I don't know. No cheating. Five no wishes. cheating. No cheating and asking for yeah, more wishes. I wish it was five years from now. No cheating. <laughs> Cheater. Oh, I used to do that as a kid. I'd be like, I wish for infinite wishes. <laughs> that's cheating. Yeah, Al that's Aladdin cheating. is like, listen, girl. No, no, no. I can't be doing that for you. That's no cheating. And you know wishes. it isn't. Yeah. Um, I would totally wait the five years for the five wishes. Would you? Yeah. Three wishes. Is it five? Did it say? Did it say that? No, three oh, wishes three granted wishes. in five years. I'm bad with numbers. She's a knob. <laughs> I would wait for more wishes. Would you? I could be patient knowing that I had three wishes that I was going to get instead of the one. You know what I would do? I would make one wish for like a bazillion dollars. <laughs> that would be gone in five years. No, <laughs> with all that money. You'd like, be wishing you had my three wishes. I would wish for an infinite money wallet that every time I opened the wallet up, that another be yeah. $100,000 was in it. Because, oh think of this, I could, my mom could be like, my house needs paying off. I could be like, no problem, mom. Uh, there you go. My dad could be like, oh, I need a new automobile. Like, he'd be like, Bruh. there you go, dad, no problem. You know, think of all the people you could help with $100,000 every time you opened your wallet. Yeah. Oh my God, you could do so much good stuff with that. And like a movie, I could totally imagine you like ending up in an <laughs> awful situation because of this wallet. <laughs> people would think I stole the money, I'd end up in jail. Yeah. And the magic wallet would end up in the hands of like, like some, some heathen ruffian guy. Gangster dude or something. I yeah. Oh, the guy terrible. with a crack habit and he's like smoking <laughs> crack and stuff and then he dies and the wallet ends up in the hands of like the cartel. <laughs> this got out of hand. Yeah. Okay, forget this question ever existed. <laughs> question number seven. Her turn. Would you rather never touch a human being again? or never touch another computer powered device. Well, that's simple. I could do without this, <laughs> right? Human beings need human touch. We, yeah. we have to have human touch. Without human touch, human beings actually begin to go a little bit loopy. Some people they can do without it, but the human race is a very touchy feely human race. I mean, yeah. just, I mean, how do you think kids get here for one? <laughs> just, babies, just saying. Babies would die without touch. They needed a yes. Of food. Yes. And we're parents, so yeah. Adios, computers. I can't I'm live without my kids. Yeah, I can't live without <laughs> hugging and kissing my kids every single day. No. Goodbye, phone. <laughs> I can live without my computer. Then I'd be like, oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Toss the phone off the bridge, and I'd be like, oh no, it's gone. But uh, yeah, seriously, yeah. <laughs> human touch is a must. Technology is a bust. Yeah. That was so lame. <laughs> Next question, question number eight, is would you rather be a parent hmm. or a child? I'm gonna go with child. Yeah, as much as I love my kids, of course, I still think about when I was, what it was like to be a kid and just yeah. carefree and not have to worry about like bills or anything like that and just feel taken care of. But I had a really great childhood, so yeah, I might be a little biased on that. Uh, considering I'm pretty much a man boy, 
I'm a perpetual <laughs> child anyway. <laughs> I've kind of mastered the art of being a grown-up child, so for me, I'm gonna say a grown-up. I mean, as much as I loved my childhood, that my childhood ruled. I mean, everyone had struggles and problems and stuff like that, but my childhood pretty much ruled. And I loved it, and I'm always trying to hold on to it. But because I'm always trying to hold on to it, I kind of don't feel like I've grown up. Like, I really honestly just feel just like a grown bigger. up. I, yeah, I feel like a big kid. All the, I'm wearing a Batman shirt for Pia. There are toys behind me, <laughs> right? Most people, when they're like, oh, I got some extra money, they're like, oh, cool, I'm gonna put some of this money away like a responsible grown up. And I'm like, I get to buy another figure. The figs are in the store, I'm gonna go get one. <laughs> It's so bad of me, but it's true. But being a parent for me is so important. Yeah, I, I love being a parent. A I, I love my kids. Yeah. Well, no, for me, it's actually really simple. Parent, the man boy parent. <laughs> yes. Well, you cheated there. <laughs> Cheat. You're like, I just want to grow up. I'll give you a child and a parent. <laughs> <laughs> Question number nine: Would you rather save the life of someone you're close to, or? Save the lives of five random strangers. Hmm. I think that it depends on who the person was. Like, if who were the five people and who was the one person? That's if it, true. If it was you versus any five people, I would choose my wife. Or any of my kids versus five true. people, I yes. would choose if my it was family. A child or something? Yeah. I would have to. I would. I would have to. There's no yeah. way around it. But if it was like my grandmother, I knew she had a long life. She was like, it's okay. I can go save the people. Yeah, that's a hard one. I don't know. Although it doesn't specify that, that, that she knows. Okay, okay, okay. What if it was one innocent child or five people who maybe you had prior knowledge that they were going to change the world in a really Ah, awesome you way. had to make it hard. <laughs> well, I mean, come on, we got we got up the stakes here. Let's say it's like a physicist and a doctor that's going to come up with some really awesome cure for like HIV or something like that. The physicist is gonna come up with some kind of discovery that changes everyone's life. Uh, Maybe there'll be an aerospace engineer who figures out there's life on another planet and you know, we can get there like through a wormhole. Would you pick those five important people or the one or the child? Innocent child? But the innocent child, you don't know. They're the unknown. They could be a schmuck. <laughs> they could like save the whole world. You have no idea what their life is gonna be, so. I would. And you don't know like the how they're gonna go either. I'd pick the child. Yeah, me too. I'd pick the child because I think we're naturally We're gonna protect children. Ingrained to protect children. Yeah. So I mean I just I just would pick the child, even though my intellectually I know I probably should pick the five grown-ups who are going to change the face of the human race. Yeah. I probably would pick the child. Good thing we're not in charge of anything big. Oh like, man. Like a country or something. It would suck. <laughs> it would suck so bad. Anywho, this one's over because we've answered enough questions and it's two in the morning. And my brain hurts. Her brain hurts, my heart hurts. I don't want to answer any more questions Those about so kids and five people. That one was pretty tough. Yeah. Still a lot of fun though. If you can, if you could find someone like a partner and you could do these questions with them, bouncy ideas yes. off of each other, it, it actually is a lot of fun though. And it yes. gets your brain thinking yes. and it doesn't cost anything. Nope, get to it, know and it gets to, free. Right, and it gets discussions <laughs> yes. going. So yes. anyway, if you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then you hey. can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and usually what we do is vlogs. Yes. We'll do like a vlog. But occasionally we do other stuff on this channel as well that is not a vlog. Just occasionally. Challenges and things like that. So yeah. if you like what you saw today, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get more of what we do on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's it for now. So we'll see you next time with the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.